Okay, viewers and subscribers, uh, welcome back to Lab 44 for this video. Um, I'm going to pitch a couple things out of the way here. I have quite the mess. Um, setting up the GI Arctic tent, the small, uh, the one they call small is the five person. Let's have a look. Um, okay. I'm setting it up for a long-term stay. First, about the setup. Uh, uh, winter, it's been snow, then warm, then cold, and snow, then warm, then cold. So there were, uh, when I cleared this out, it was about eight inches deep of snow, <clears throat> and it was two layers of ice. So it took some time to clear that out. The diameter of the tent is 13 and a half feet. Um, the brown you see around the tent shows that I cleared out about a 16 foot diameter area. Um, the tent set up first to consider, I'm walking with the camera, um, was where, okay, and what I wanted for a where, of course, here's the view of the river uh, where I'll be doing some photography. Um, let's get back to the tent. Um, another important aspect was when. So being in the late winter, of course, we had the snow conditions I just mentioned. Um, I'm setting the tent up for a long-term stay. I don't know, two to six weeks. I don't know. Okay. And so the tent, uh, we may be able to tell, is hex-shaped. Hex means six. And that means that there are six tent stakes at the base of the tent and at least six more to hold the lines that you see. And so that's at least 12 stakes to be pounded into some frozen ground. Okay. Um, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up. It was real hard to do. Um, and so you may notice that you may see a stake or two that isn't pounded in all that far. Okay, about the tent, in the center of the frame here, we're looking at the stove jack. And um, I haven't installed the, the chimney. Uh, the wood stove is inside the tent. You'll also notice that the tent shape is very teepee-ish, right down to its two-foot walls. And because of the slope of the roof, um, the floor space in there where you can walk around is pretty limited. And so most of the things in there you will want around the perimeter. Um, from where we're standing, we can't see the vents. There are two vents in the roof, you know, and um, which are certainly necessary when I fire up the wood stove. The door we're looking at right here is uh, maybe a little over four feet high. And uh, the reason for that not being taller is it doesn't let all the heat out when you enter the tent. And so, Anyhow, uh, that's the GI Arctic tent. Let me get it all in the frame better. And so I have a bunch of wood piled around and I'm back right now to uh, split some kindling while I have some daylight and get ready for a uh, long-term stay in the Arctic tent. I won't go in the tent this time. We will next time, we'll go in the tent and look at the, at the cots and, and wood stove and how they are arranged and evaluate really how much usable space uh, is in this tent. I'll say right now that five person, could be five people um, in their bivouac bags in there on the floor. And as we, when we look in the tent and you see a couple of cots in here, you realize that you, there won't be five people standing in this tent. Okay, I'll wrap it up here. Um, I'm going to split some wood and then get ready. Um, that's my take on the GI Arctic tent, the small Arctic tent, which is the five person. Uh, we'll get back to you. We'll go in the tent and we'll also do an evaluation of the wood stove that I've chosen. Thanks much viewers and subscribers uh, from Lat 44 Outdoors. Next time.